Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn the formula for the area of a polygon. But before we dive into the formula, we need to take a step back and we need to learn some new vocabulary. I have a hexagon here. We can find the area of any polygon as long as it's a regular polygon. So the one I'm showing is six sides, but in class we're going to do pentagons, decagons, all kinds of different regular polygons. Well, the first thing that we need to do is, again, talk about the vocabulary. And what I want you to do is picture the polygons um, inscribed in a circle, because that's where we get some of the vocabulary. So just picture that behind this polygon is a circle. And as we know, if we were to take the center point and then draw a segment to this um, edge of the circle here that this is called the radius in a circle. Well in the polygon we're going to give it the same name. So if you have a segment from the center point to one of the vertices of your polygon it's called a radius. So again it makes sense because it's called a radius in a circle it's also called a radius in the polygon. Now we have a new word and um, oh, I just put one more in because what we're trying to do is create a triangle and we're going to use the triangle to find the missing pieces. But anyway, we have a new word and you know how much I absolutely love geometry, but this is the only word that I don't know where they came up with this word. It makes me laugh every time I say it. But if we were to draw a perpendicular from this center point here and um, Anyway, draw this straight down. This is called, are you ready? An apothem. I don't know where they came up with that. Like I said, it makes me laugh every time I say it. So this, again, is called an apothem. And this right here, shockingly, it is called a side. So anyway, all vocabulary that you need to write down, you need to know for your video quiz. And we're going to add one more thing. In the polygon, we are going to draw in a central angle. And remember that this polygon is inscribed in a circle. So this picture from this center point that we have 360 degrees, and this right here is called the central angle. And the way that we find it and again, I want you to write this down, is it's 360 degrees divided by the number of sides. So in this case, we have a hexagon, which is six sides. We would just do 360 divided by six to give us 60 degrees. So this, where this arc is purple, this would be 60 degrees. So again, that's um, a very important vocabulary word is the central angle, because we're going to use it in other chapters as well. Now that you have that written down, that you've got this down, we are going to talk about the actual formula for the area of a polygon. The formula is 1 half apothem times the perimeter of the polygon. So write that down. And in our notes, we are always just going to write 1 half AP. We don't have to write down um, these, you know, all of these words. So let's apply it to this or put some numbers in to this hexagon. If I'm given that this side here is 6 and the radius is 6, well, the problem is I don't have the apothem, so I can't use the formula yet. Well, I um, established in the other slide that this is 60 degrees. So remember I showed you the purple arc? We did 360 divided by 6 to get that the whole thing was 60 degrees. Well, I just want to use one of these right triangles. When I drew in this apothem here, I created a right triangle. This is what's going to happen every time. So I'm just going to divide that 60 degrees by 2 to get that this is 30 degrees here. And again, I'm just using this triangle here. Well, guess what? I have a 30, 60, 90. And taking what I've learned from previous chapters, if this is my hypotenuse, and remember that the formula is 2x for the hypotenuse, well, the short side would be 3. And then the one opposite the 60 right here would just be 3 root 3.
So that's again using what I've learned from previous chapters. Now I have everything that I need to figure out the area of this polygon. And um, when you get to class, we are going to have um, polygons that have different numbers of sides, and we're also going to have central angles that are different degree amounts, and that's where we're going to use trig, the 45-45, so that's what you have to look forward to. So finishing this one off, um, plugging everything in, the formula is 1 half, and then my apothem, if we look over here, is 3 root 3, so I have replaced the apothem with 3 root 3, and then the perimeter is six times uh, the number of sides. I have six sides. Each side length is six, so six times six is 36. So that's how I got the perimeter. And then just simplifying that, it would be 54 root 3 units squared. So again, for your video quiz, I expect you to know up to the point that you know the formula for the area of a polygon, you know all the vocabulary, and you know how to find the central angle. But as far as this harder stuff, we're going to do that in class, and we're going to practice, 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 and you're going to master this. Anyway, I'll see you guys in class.